Labai works on a concept called the couple. Basically, it's two levers linked at a single fulcrum, the elbow lock. And it doubles the foot-pounds of torque you can generate when compared to a single arm lock. There's more than enough force to flip an opponent to the mat or dislocate his elbow. By using the twisting motion of the torso to drive the strike, the business end of the hardwood fighting stick can quickly accelerate to more than 25 miles per hour. On contact with the skull, the energy is enough to cause a depressed fracture. It's the same injury producing force as being hit in the temple by a hammer. Baliog Pamali relies on something called a flexion moment imparted to the neck to do damage. An average man's neck can withstand about a 140 foot pound flexion moment. Beyond that, soft tissue and even vertebrae can be crushed. By bringing your weight down fast, this move could easily deliver twice that amount of force. And it wouldn't just end a fight, it could leave your opponent paralyzed or dead. With the elbow locked, the opponent's forearm becomes a lever and his elbow a fulcrum. Any force applied to his wrist is more than doubled by the mechanical advantage of leverage. By jerking hard on the arm, you could easily hyperextend the elbow. The same kind of injury that you'd sustain falling hard onto your outstretched arm. The throw works just like a crowbar, where your leg is the lever and your hip is the fulcrum. The trick is positioning your body in just the right place. If you're just an inch off the placement of your thigh and hip, the amount of energy needed to throw an opponent can more than double. But performed correctly, Uchimata requires almost no energy, yet it can deliver up to 5,000 pounds of force. If it weren't for the mat, a throw like Uchimata would be enough to cause serious injury or even paralysis. You use the strength of your legs to maintain your dominant position while you secure the choke. Just a few pounds of pressure on the collar of his gi is enough to reduce the blood flow to the brain to a trickle and end the match. Hold this move for 10 seconds and the fighter will black out. Hold it just a bit longer and he's dead. By bending the elbow across the fulcrum of your hips, you're subjecting the weak joint to the leverage of two strong forces. The pull of your thighs on his shoulder and your hands on his wrists. As little as 1,000 pounds of force can be enough to destroy the elbow. The leverage of the armbar can supply much more than that. The sacrifice throw is a simple lesson in conservation of energy. The stronger the opponent attacks, the further he gets thrown. It works like a catapult, where your opponent's momentum supplies the counterweight. The faster he's going, the further he's going to fly and the harder he's going to land. Because you don't have time to cock your arm in a surprise attack, bursting's effectiveness doesn't come from the rotational power of the torso. Instead, it's driven by the legs, which hurl you forward into your opponent. Both the block and the strike land with 300 pounds of force, more than enough to collapse the windpipe or fracture the delicate bones of the face. Doing the 360 defense requires you keep your body in motion at all times, using your arms to defend different angles of attack. The key is keeping your arms at an oblique angle with your hands open and straight so that you don't take any blows straight on. Each is deflected down the angle of your forearm, which reduces its impact. During the choke, your opponent is relying on his grip strength and outstretched arms to maintain the choke. The strength of your back and shoulder muscles is greater than the applied force of your opponent's hold. So it doesn't take much to break his grip. And the closer your hands are to your own neck, the greater the leverage. The disarm is basically a judo wrist lock and uses many of the same principles. By pulling your attacker forward as you turn, he loses his balance, giving you control of his wrist. The barrel of the gun then becomes a lever allowing you to take the gun. Because you are using the muscles of your torso, which can deliver up to 10 times more force than the muscles of the wrist, the disarm works against an opponent who is much stronger than you.